what God cannot do does not exist. I come to you from Coventry in the United Kingdom. My name is Winnie. I'm a medical doctor. I'm a doctor here in, um, in the West Midlands and it was I'm a newly qualified medical registrar, you know, one step down from a, a senior consultant. And I met a patient, a lovely woman, you know, just in her, 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 her 50s. And she came in with, you know, increased shortness of breath for the last few weeks. And we were sitting up talking to her. My senior consultant reviewed her afterwards. We made a plan and uh, initially we suspected that um, she had a, maybe a small blood clot on her lungs that was causing the symptoms but we put her on the medical management and awaited further imaging. This was on a Friday night so we assumed that it would probably happen the next day, the imaging. Lo and behold, all I hear a few hours later is a, like the cardiac arrest call and everyone's attention in the accident and emergency department was centered towards this woman's room and I said it can't be her we were just sitting up and talking she hasn't got any previous medical history except she survived cancer 10 years before and she's usually fit and well when I ran to the room all I see is her lying there lifeless 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 touching her body she was cold we began CPR and usually in the accident and emergency room the person that leads the uh, the cardiac arrest is usually the most senior person there. The senior person turned and said, Winnie, I hand over to you, you take control. <laughs> I said, we, <laughs> the newly qualified medical reg. I said, oh my God. I said, what God can undermine, you know, we wear face masks in hospital. I just kept on saying, what God cannot do, does not exist. And I just said, Holy Spirit, I need you to come and help out in this situation. As we're doing the, um, the, the uh, CPR, I just started speaking in tongues. I said, you're not going to die on my watch. And I couldn't even leave to go and get my phone to start playing the prayers. I just said, now it's time for memory to kick in for everything I've ever heard on the NSPPD platform. There wasn't a prayer. I didn't pray. And just looking at her, I just said that you're not going to die on my watch. I already prayed that prayer. Lord, bless the work of my hands. Lo and behold, this woman, she even she came back to life and she stayed there i even said i wanted to give that testimony straight away i said i'm going to wait until the next day i came into work the next time and i went to the intensive care unit and there she was you know talking to me and she was alert and she was worse for wear you know we'd done four cycles of cpr jumping in her chest but she was alert she was alive and i just prayed over her and i said that you know you can't have you know full cancer to now come and die because of a you know what turned out to be a massive blood clot that was including all the blood vessels in her lungs and the ones connecting to her heart so i just want to give that testimony that it wasn't me it wasn't anyone but it was god it was the holy spirit that flew for this woman and blessed the work of my hands so i just want to say thank you god for everything you're doing i come to return all the glory back to God so that even her healing will be made permanent in the name of Jesus and she will be made whole. What God cannot do does not exist. Thank you.